Hey, so how are you doing, Zach? I'm doing good. Are you good? Oh, yeah. that's cool. That's cool. Whoa, hey! Whoa, do you see that? Oh, yeah. Whoa. Wow, that's a camera. Wow. Oh, and you know we like cameras. Yeah, so oh. let's record All right, well, then let's record a video. Sounds good to me. All right, sounds great. Well, you know what? If we're going to do this, he's Zach. And he's Dad. And together, we're, we're Zach, Zach and Dad. Dad. Hey, so how are you doing, Zach? I'm doing good. Good, good. We're doing awesome. It's a, a wonderful day. Every day we can YouTube is a good day. So, welcome, YouTube family. Um, it's great to have you. We're Zach and Dad. And uh, this is our second installment on this. So, if you're watching this, if you're watching the second video, you must like it. The first video, you're just kind of see us. Second one, you're part of the family. And we hope you do. Again, please like us. Um, really get the word out, start spreading it, Twitter it, Twitter it, Facebook it, Instagram it, however you want to get it out there, share it. So like us out there, comment, uh, we'd love to hear, uh, and again, keep them clean, please. Um, we're new at this, um, so, you know, just kind of help us out here, maybe with some ideas of what we could do in the future, um, maybe what you like, um, some ideas in the future too, so comment. Uh, subscribe again. We're Zach and Dad, and uh, to always get up in the moment when we're ready. Um, ring the dinghy. No, ring the bell. Uh, ring the bell. We would love to have that. So you're always uh, knowing what we're doing, right? Yeah. And um, and that would be awesome. So today we wanted to get right into it, and uh, we told you some of the things we want to do are what? Food. What? Yeah. Food review. Food reviews, what other things did we say? Food challenges. Food reviews, food challenges, basically everything with food. You know, maybe some other things. We want to be kind of a variety kind of channel, but, but a lot of things we want to do with food. And my son, it, we're not chili heads at all. Uh, we leave those to, what are some of the channels we like? We like Chase the Heat. But when, who does that? Johnny Scoville. Johnny, we love you. All right, so Chase the Heat with Johnny Scoville. And then the Crew Brothers. Crew Brothers, who's on there? Yes, the Crew Brothers. We'll love you guys, too. And then the big one, Good Mythical Morning. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we love Rhett and Link on Good Mythical Morning. They kind of are the ones who inspired us to get this start. So, anyway, today, so my son's not a real, I mean, we're really not chili heads. My son probably a little more than us. But today we thought, let's try uh, to do some reviews of things you would find, some spicy, so-called spicy chips you would see at the store. And a lot of the things that we're going to do, are going to be things that you can get at the store, so you can do it along with us. So watch this video again, get the chips that we're going to get, review it with us, and uh, we'll review them so that you don't have to. So, all right, let's do the first one here. What do we got? This is Doritos Spicy Nacho. Doritos Spicy Nacho. What's unique about the, the, the display here is, what do you see on the front? I see fire. I see. I see fire and I see right now. Um, I see fire as well. I'm assuming when, you know, I'm assuming, do you see the flames? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. So anyway, we got that. Um, we kind of did this, uh, we were kind of looking at this before. Uh, we don't want to read all the ingredients, but we do want to at least show you what probably makes, why it says it's spicy. Um, yes, yes, he's trying to, uh, trying to help me along here. Um, on this. Uh, but anyway, it says spices uh, on here. Um, it basically, there is some onion powder, garlic powder. A little farther down, it says spices. It's pretty unique. It doesn't tell you what spice, it just says spices. So I'm assuming that must be what makes this spicy. Well, citric acid, I guess that could make anything spicy. But anyway, so um, what do you smell? Doritos. Yeah, it really, to tell you the truth, I don't smell anything different with spicy, spicy nacho than I, I find with regular nacho cheese. So, anyway, let's see, though. Why don't we grab here, and let's just smell the chips. Sometimes that smells a little different. Anything? It smells like chips. Yeah, it just smells, again, like nacho. So, let's try it. chew with my mouth closed because if it was open, we could have, you yeah, know, you wouldn't want to know. All right, well, we better try another one. 
just to try to see if something builds. So, interesting. Okay, we've tried a couple of them. We see the flame. We see the flames, of course. Um, not an eternal flame, but we do see the flame. So, on a scale, um, Zach, what do you... Well, first of all, what are your thoughts? Well, it tastes like chips, and it smells like chips. I mean, it is chips. It, no spice at all, so I give it a zero. A zero for what? For the zero spice? Yeah, I, I, yeah, to me, to, again, to tell me that, to tell you the truth, it, you know, I like it, but it doesn't really even go up a notch of it. But like, but like Zach said, if it smells like a chip and it chews like a chip, it's got to be a chip. So, um, all right, so, uh, so, but on a, on a scale of one to ten, what do you think about flavor? Oh, flavor? Uh, pretty good, nine. Yeah, I, well, wow, you seriously that high? I wouldn't give it a nine, but um, I would probably give it a seven. I mean, it was good. On flavor? On flavor, yeah. Because uh -oh. nine is pretty high. That means there's nothing going to be above that. So I'd probably go an eight. It really was good, but I wouldn't tell the difference between that and regular ones. All right. Put up to the camera. What is this one? Doritos Blaze. Blaze. What's, what, we, what we see different about this one is that the fire looks more... Uh, distinguishable. I mean, uh, you see the fire, you know, it's almost, now you even see the fire and the smoke. I mean, this one's really looks like it's blazing. And then on the back, it's something in the back too, is there's flames on the back. You even see some little ice particles here on the front, which is a little unique. But anyway, as we see the ingredients here, um, what we notice too, it probably makes, again, spices are on here, which is kind of unique. Uh, yes, I know. Is uh, it keeps saying, but keep it under fifteen. I know, I know. We we will. Um, that's why the that's why we love to edit. Um, but anyway, spices that kind of keeps it there. Um, garlic powder, um, onion powder. Then you got tomato powder. But then kind of at the bottom, you have jalapeno pepper powder. So again, it's not on top; it's at the bottom. But that is probably. I think they can hear that. Uh, that probably is what what gives it that. But kind of gives it that kick. So, uh, so again, blaze. But what do you smell here? It smells like chips. No, no, you don't smell anything different on this one. Jalapenos. And yeah, this one you do smell a little bit more of spice. So why don't you take one? Try another one right away. Let's see if anything builds. Again, these are Doritos blades. These are different. These are definitely different than the spicy nachos. Um, this might be more of a build-up than um, that other one was. So. On a scale, what do you what, what are your what were your thoughts? What were your initial thoughts when you bit into it? Tastes like a chip and a little bit of jalapeno. You can tell a little more uh, a little more of a spice, right? Yep. Um, and so we got that. So on a scale of one to ten for spice, did this one go up a little more? Yeah, it did. So what would you put on the spice? Three. I would I would probably maybe go to me eh, maybe more of a two because yeah, you, it definitely was much more of a kick, but I didn't want to go much higher than that because I know there's a lot more higher, you know, like what plutonium. That would definitely rock our world. So I didn't want to go even up to a three yet. So maybe a two a two there. What would you say for uh what like, would you say for flavor? Oh, it was really good ten. You serious? Yeah. Alright, to me. For flavor, a much more flavor than spice, to me this was better. So I would probably put this, what did I rate this at? That tastes like a chip. Well, it was a good chip though. Um, you know, we're not always going to agree. I would probably put this maybe at a five for flavor. Um, did have more of a spice, 
but the the flavor was uh, was not as good. So, all right, what do we got for the third one? We're gonna try to do four here today. All right, um, what we have here is Nuevo. is yeah, Nuevo, yeah, Nuevo, or new. Maybe Nuevo is new newer. No, um, new. Um, New Extra Hot Chili and Lime uh, by Pringles. Extra hot. So I'm assuming this is really, this is really going to be hot. That's what I'm assuming, right? When you hear extra hot, you think this is going to be extra, extra hot. So anyway. Can you? I know. I know it hurts. I know. I'm already kind of feeling the pain. Um, when we look at the ingredients here, again, I don't want to read them all, but just maybe what, what puts the punch to it. It does say it contains less than 2%, so not even a lot of, um, what does that say there? Salt. And then the second chili one. Chili pepper powder. Chili pepper powder, oh, less than 2%. So it's very little, but I bet that is what they are using to try to bring a kick to it. So anyway, do you smell anything here? A little, you know, a little bit of something there. A little bit of something there. So let's try these. Again, these ones, I didn't show you the texture on the other ones. But these ones have your, it's your, your Pringle, of course, kind of look to it, of course. And, um, but you can definitely tell there's powder on it. Uh, or seasoning, whatever they put it on there in the machine. So I guess we'll uh, give it a try. Yeah, it doesn't really have much of a flavor, but we we'll see it. I think the chips should smell the same, but hey, we'll smell each other, so why not, right? All right, let's try it. I'll try another one, see what happens. We should have probably had something to kind of cleanse our palate in between these. Like what? Some kind of a, like a lot of water or something, but oh well. Because now it's kind of hard to know that this, it's the spice coming from the blaze still, or is it from this? Well, you must like them. You're, you're not stopping it, too. But that's kind of Pringles. You just can't stop. Um, all right. So, what's your initial thoughts? It's good. On the uh, Pringles Extra Hot Chili and Lime. Um... Okay, scale of 1 to 10 on, um, on spice. 1. Yeah, again, I don't know if I was uh, feeling from it the was Blaze, hotter but... hotter than the Dorito spicy. One. Yeah, but not as hot as the Blaze. So, it was kind of in between. If you're looking at this, this would probably go, you would have your spicy nacho, then you'd have, then you have, well, whatever, there, and then... And then Blaze, by far, was probably the hottest of what we had, right? Okay, last but certainly not least, we have nothing. No, this is um, by Pop, uh, what was it, Pop Weaver? Yeah. Yeah, Pop Weaver, got to make sure we get this right. It was by Pop Weaver, and the reason why it's not labeled is because it came in a box. Um, it was like a box set already pre-popped. Uh, by Pop Weaver, it had two bags, or one bag of chocolate covered popcorn, and then two bags of what? Jalapeno cheddar. Jalapeno cheddar. So, you know, we're really not, you know, too familiar with, like, spicy popcorn, but we thought we'd give it a try. So, again, that's why, just take our word for it, uh, it came out of that box, and that's why it's not labeled. Let's smell, see what we got. What do you smell out of that? Cheddar. I'm not, maybe cheddar, you're right. I'm not getting any spice at all. I'm just maybe getting, yeah, maybe more of the cheddar. So, we'll see. Let's take a, kind of a handful here. Let me just try, let me smell this here. Mm. Um, yeah, it really just smells like cheddar popcorn. Matter of fact, my throat is still getting, I think, tingly from the blaze. <coughs> so, anyway. Uh, all right, well, should we just try it all? Now, the ingredients, I really don't know um, because I don't have the box with me, um, but there's some maybe jalapeno and cheddar flavoring in there. All right, why don't we try it all? <laughs> now, 
this is one of the best things you can do is just have a channel to eat. I mean, does it get better any better than that? Just have a channel, reviewing food, eating food, you know, and going to town. All right, I'm going to try just a little more. I'm not a chill, we're not chilly hot today, as you can see, we're not keeling over, so it must not be that hot. So, anyway, what was your initial thoughts on this one? Really? Still You're speechless. Speechless. Well, anyway, I'll start on this one then. Um, it was good. Uh, to me, it really did. I could really tell it was cheddar. And then kind of at the end, you kind of got that little, mm, there's like a, okay, a little spice there. So, so then I tried another one, and again, it tastes like cheddar, and then you just get that little hint of, mm, okay, just a little, little spice. But yeah, it would, it would, it would I even, think it's less than this notch. It would be a less, to me, it's not even a one. To me, it doesn't even bring up the needle really at all. Negative one. Uh, no, I'm not going to go negative, but, but again, I mean, I could tell they were trying to put a little kick, a little kick in there. That burp is not because of the spice. It's just because of burping. Um, because there is no spice in this. I mean, it's good. Uh, what would you give it for flavor? Just season popcorn, like five. Like a cheddar popcorn. Yeah, I would give it a five. I mean, it wasn't bad. It was good. I mean, I. Uh, it's nothing like if you would... It's not like... I don't think it's as good... It's pre-popped. So I don't think it's as good as, as, as microwave popcorn. Or if you would get like... If you had a popcorn machine, I mean, that's definitely really nice and fresh. I mean, you can definitely tell this was pretty popped, right? And baked. So it wasn't that good. But I'd sit down at home uh, and watch, you know, a beta movie with it. I don't know about Blu-ray, but at least beta. Um, no, I'm kidding. I'd watch a movie with it. So, anyway. Um, so what do you think about our, our second video? Now, we liked it. But we hope, more importantly, that... Our YouTube family likes it. And so, uh, thank you for coming along on the ride with us. Uh, we really do. We want to count you as family. Um, again, tell your friends, tell your family, tell your enemies, tell everyone you know. Uh, tell Because that's the only way we're going to grow. And that's the only way we're going to do more videos is when you, we know you like it and you get your friends to watch. Let's make this into one big Zach and Dad family where we can kind of come together, share ideas, and just have a lot of fun. So what are some of the ways that um, our family can stick with us? So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and ring the bell so you do not miss any of our videos. That's right. So please, please do those things. We would love to hear from you. Again, please keep them clean because uh, we really do want to have this as a clean channel. As you, as you can probably tell, we're, um, we're, we are going to keep it clean. That's who we are. We're not going to swear. We don't say bad words. We want to keep this family friendly so you can bring the kids into the room um, because that's kind of what a family we are. We're, in, we're a clean family. Um, and uh, we want to keep it that way as well. So please like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell. And we hope, uh, and you know what? We'll see you on the flip leaf flop. Take care. Woo! All right. Woo! Send me your time. What? All right.